Okay, so we've got free swimming lessons for under threes. Uh, what other information do we need? Well, we need to know the time uh, and date um, of when this is happening. So, something that I'd quite like to put in, based on my original design, is some sort of icons here uh, that sort of give the suggestion of, of like a clock for the time and um, a calendar for the day. So, to do that, we're going to go back into um, our Creative Commons search and see if we can find some icons that are copyright free that we can use. So let's just go into Chrome and let's have a little look for a Creative Commons search. Okay, now I want a clock icon and I'm going to use Pixabay again. And let's see what we find. Okay, that's a bit too busy. That's got a bit much colour. I'd like it to just be one colour really. And that one potentially could work. Let's just take a quick peek and just see if we've got any better ones. Right, yes, I think that one, that one, or that one, they would all be quite good. Uh, this is the simplest one, so I think I'm going to go for that. So let's click on that, and let's do a free download. Um, I'm going to make it quite small in the image, so the medium size will be absolutely fine. I'll download that, and let's go back to our Creative Commons search and I'd also like some sort of calendar or date icon. This will do absolutely fine. So again, let's click on there. It's free for commercial use, no attribution required, so let's download it. Excellent, and now I need to put those new downloads into my assets folder so I know where to find them. So I'm going to go to my downloads. I've got it organized by date. These are my two downloads, so I'll select them, right click, copy, and then I'll go back to my documents, to my Super Splash project, paste them in with my assets. Excellent, that should be familiar from our first tutorial where we got the swimming pool and the baby. Right, we can now go back into PhotoPlus and make use of these. So let's open those new documents those new images, and they'll be added to our Documents tab. And we're going to grab the clock one, edit copy, go back to our banner. And I'm just going to save it before I do any more work on it. And then we're going to paste and put a new layer in. Ah, now it's an enormous image, so again we have to go to Zoom, hold Shift, and zoom out. Grab the Deform tool, and we can resize it to make it a lot smaller. That'll do for now, I can move it around in a minute. Let's do the same for the calendar. So select the calendar, we're going to copy it, go back to our promo banner, we're going to paste it as a new layer, and again, resize it, put it on our image. Okay, let's zoom back in. Quick tip, you can click and drag around the area to zoom nicely to it. Okay, so we've got our um, <clears throat> we've got our icons in. They're, they're slightly different colours, um, which is a bit frustrating, so it'd be nice to do something about that. And obviously we need to get them both to be the, the same size. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to name my layers. So this is my calendar. Oops. And this one is my clock. And I realise I haven't done for under threes with a name either, so let's do that. Okay. Right, so I have now got a calendar and a clock, but we need to make them both a little bit smaller. So let's start with the clock, see if we can get that right. Use the deform tool again. And let's just make it a nice little icon. That looks about right. And we can do the same with our calendar. Now to help us actually get the sizing right, I'm going to put on something called a ruler, which shows us how many pixels high our image is on the uh, sort of the width and the height. And we can click and drag down a guideline from here. 
So if I click and drag one down to the top of my clock and one to the bottom of my clock, now I've got a guide that I can use for resizing my uh, calendar. So if I've got my deform tool selected, which I do, I've got my calendar. If I drag it so that it lines up with those guidelines, it will be the same height as the clock and I haven't had to spend lots of time sort of faffing around trying to get it right. Okay, once you're done with your lines, you can just drag them off and they're gone. Okay, so I've got my clock and my calendar, um, but I'd like them both to be uh, sort of a black color. So the calendar's fine, but the clock is a sort of a light gray. So I'm going to just change that by using the colorize um, filter for it. So we're going to click on the adjustment and we want this to apply only to the clock. So we're going to right click, clip it to the layer below. And uh, now I can simply change the lightness right down and that makes it a black color. I could actually use this to, to make it sort of any color I like. I could have made it red, green, yellow. It's a really useful tool for getting a single color icon and then matching it to your brand. Um, but as I say, I'm quite happy to make it just black. So I'll just take the lightness right down. Okay, we're almost there. We just need to put the text in now. So I'm just going to move the calendar over to about there. And let's put some writing in to say that this is going to be uh, on Tuesdays. Oops. And again, we can make that a nicer font, something quite legible like to Homer. <coughs> maybe a bit smaller, maybe 20 points. Yeah. Tuesdays. And maybe set the time for it to be uh, 9 to 10 a.m. And again, select to Homer and 20 points. Excellent. Okay, and actually what I could do is bring my ruler back just so I can make sure they're lined up properly again. That helps me a lot. Uh, and now I can also bring my, and bring that one over and I can just bring the clock over. Oops, need to select the clock first. This is why it's so helpful to have named layers so you know that you're selecting the right one. That looks pretty good. Now, it would be quite useful if I want to move those, I'm probably going to want to move them together. So actually I'm going to select all of the layers that make up the text and the calendar and the clock icons. Um, and I'm going to put them in a group together. First, I just need to name these 9 to 10 a.m. So that one must be Tuesdays. Yep. Properties. Tuesdays. So if I want to group these, I can just click on uh, the top layer I want, hold the shift key while I select the additional layers. So I've got all of these selected now and I can go right click and I group the layers. And now that they're grouped, I can switch them on and off in one go. And with the group selected, I can move them all together in one go, which is so useful because all of that precision um, placement that I was doing with the rulers would be a pain if I had to do that every time I just wanted to move it a bit, whereas now they're fully sort of joined together. And I can do some other useful things as well, for example, I could reduce the opacity of the entire group in one go to give a slightly transparent effect. Uh, in fact, I might even set that at 90%, just so you see a little bit of the, of the pool coming through in the background. Right, I think that's pretty much done. We've managed to get our text in there. We used a few different fonts. We've set some different colors. We've rotated some text and we've brought some icons in and we've recolored the icons and we've grouped them together. So I think we've done a really uh, good productive bit of work there. So I'd like you to carry on working on your banners, doing the same. And in the next tutorial, we're going to look at adding uh, an action button for people to then um, book our uh, swimming lessons online.